Hey guys, in this lesson, I show you how to import objects from other Anime Studio project files. Sometimes when you're working on different projects in Anime Studio, you may want to import a character, a sound effect, a prop that you made in a previous project file. Well, you can easily do this by importing Anime Studio project files into your project. So to get started, make a new document or open up an existing one and go to File, Import, and choose Anime Studio Object. From here, you'll want to browse for the project file that your object is contained in. So for instance, I'll just grab one here as just a quick example and click Open. Now you have the ability to import basically any object or layer that you have in that project file. So I could go down the list here and just bring in anything I want. There's a character there, another character. Here's a, um, a WAV file, which is an audio file. So if I wanted to, I could import that audio file into this project. And of course I have different props like a sky. I have a back of a car. A part of a seat and so on. So this allows you to just basically import what you want from different project files. And I'll just choose a character as this example and click OK. Now when I do this, what I did was I imported a bone layer, which my character is on. And I'll just move him up here. You'll notice that on the timeline I have some bone animation already in play. And so when I just scroll through this, you can see that the animation is already going on. So basically, if you have an animation on your object in the existing project file that you imported from, that animation will stay there when you import it into your new project file. And that may or may not be a good thing for you, depending on if that's something that you know you don't want, you just wanted the object without any animation, you could simply click on that layer and then go to animation, clear animation from layer. And then it'll ask you if you want to do this and you click yes. And as you can see now, there is no animation for this. The mouth isn't moving. There's no bone animation and so on. So that's just a quick tip for you when you are working on your project files, because I know, especially if you work on bigger project files, if you're working on a series of episodes for, let's say, a cartoon series or something like that, you may want to refer back to other objects from time to time, and this can be a quick and easy way to do that.